Hello, and welcome to this video presentation about tools to use in the mobile classroom. Just because your classroom is going mobile doesn't mean that you have to change your lesson plan. Solely incorporate more online activities into the classroom, such as quizzes, discussion boards, presentations, and digital activities. There are a variety of easy-to-use online tools that you can use to help your students interact with the course material and keep them engaged. This presentation will introduce you to a few of the tools you can use. First is Join.me. Join.me is an easy-to-use online sharing tool that will allow your students to view your screen by typing in a URL. Students can then follow along with your presentation on their computer and even take control of your computer screen to demonstrate learning. Also, students can type in questions via chat during your presentation that you can then answer when you have time. Another tool you can use is the Digital Activity Creator. The Digital Activity Creator allows you to create and access interactive activities such as crosswords, quizzes, drag and drops, and more to help students understand difficult concepts and reinforce course material. You can use your digital activities during class to keep the students' interest and help them learn. There's also a library of digital activities that have been created by other professors that you can reuse and repurpose for your students. Camtasia Relay allows you to easily record your screen with voice narration. You can create video demonstrations or presentations on Camtasia Relay and have students watch them before or during class. You can even have students create their own videos to show their understanding of the course material. And if you have a mobile device, you can use Camtasia Fuse to create videos when you're on the go. Now you're probably familiar with Blackboard for uploading grades or posting course material, but you can also use Blackboard in a mobile learning environment. For example, you can create short online tests and quizzes that students can do during class to keep their attention. You could also give a reverse lesson using an online test where students have to use web resources and textbooks to find answers rather than being taught them. Another idea is to have students post their comments on the lecture on the class discussion board. And you can also use Blackboard Collaborate. Blackboard Collaborate is a web conferencing and virtual classroom tool that supports real-time online discussion and collaboration. It's accessible right from within your Blackboard course. Finally, we're going to talk about Fluid Surveys. Fluid Surveys is an online survey tool. You can use surveys or polls in your classroom to determine students' knowledge on a topic or find out what they would prefer to learn about, or even to get feedback on a lesson or assignment. Now, there's no need to use all these interactive tools at once. You can gradually incorporate them into your current curriculum until you become more comfortable in the mobile learning environment. If you'd like more help, you can check out any of the resources posted on the screen or contact us in Learning and Teaching Services. Thanks for watching.